All right, little different video for you guys today. This is a SoCal Garage Golfers. Not with a golf related video, but instead you're looking at a Chevy Silverado role play. This is a, a 12 volt um, truck for the kids. Uh, we've had this for about two, almost three years. And what happens is the 12 volt batteries, they're pretty slow and uh, they wear out. And instead of just getting the new battery, we want to do a 12 volt to 24 volt conversion on this. And the cool thing about this already is when you look in the battery bay, you'll see that there's actually a spot for two batteries. And this is the serial number in case you're wondering. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through uh, upgrading this from 12 volts to 24 volts. I'm going to tell you the, the parts that I bought and that worked for me. And then uh, we can check out the results once it's all done. Okay, I'm going to walk you through some of the parts that I bought in order to upgrade this uh, Chevy Roll Play from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. Uh, first thing you need to buy are two 12 volt batteries. So what I got these on Amazon, these are the Mighty Max batteries, uh, ML12-12s. So you'll need two of those. If you look at the top of those, pretty straightforward. You've got your positive lines and your negative lines. So that's it. Next thing I bought was a Zephyr 30 amp circuit breaker. Uh, what important about this is if uh, you get some sort of issue, you won't burn the motor up. Instead, it'll just hit a little reset button in here uh, on this circuit breaker. This is a 30 amp breaker and <clears throat> it's waterproof. So uh, about seven or eight bucks, definitely worth it. Uh, next thing I bought was um, some uh, assortment of uh, electrical components. So these are basically just connectors in line and your clip-ins as well. So with that, let's talk about connecting all the wires and what that means. All right, so let's get these batteries connected. So what we need to do first, step one, we need to make these batteries work as one. So the first step we do is we put in what's called a jumper line. So we're taking this quick connect clip here. Each side has got a little quick connect on here. I'm gonna connect one side to the negative terminal battery number one, and I'm gonna connect the other side of that to battery number two, the positive terminal. So now we've got that step connecting the batteries together. Next thing we're gonna talk about is this circuit breaker. We have a line side and a load side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another wire that I've cut here with the quick connect clips, and I'm gonna to connect to the line side of the circuit breaker. So it just slides right in here like that, okay? Next, I'm gonna take this same thing. I'm gonna connect it to the positive terminal of battery number one. So now what I've done is I've taken from the positive side into the line side of the circuit breaker. Now what we do is, you'll notice this clip, it looks familiar. It came off of the original battery on the role play. So it's real important to save that because it'll make connecting these two batteries into the original motors uh, quick connect clip so much easier. So what you do is you take this off your old battery, make sure you save it. And what I've done is I've put a quick connect clip on the black side, which is the negative side. And I've put a quick connect clip on the red side, the positive side. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take this circuit breaker and it's got a load feed right here. This load feed, I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the red wire of my circuit breaker. So now, essentially this positive side is ready to be plugged into the motor. So this red line is the positive, it's gonna connect into that quick connect clip that's already coming out of your role play motor. Next thing I need to do is take this negative here and I'm gonna connect it to the negative side of battery number two. So really, our batteries now are working as one. We have a circuit breaker here uh, that in case there's an issue, it won't blow up the motor. Instead, it'll just trip this breaker here, which again is waterproof, cost eight bucks, definitely worth it. So the next step, let's uh, put this into the role play and I'll show you how to just snap this in. And then we'll talk about how we're gonna connect the charger to make charging easy for you as well. Okay, so the next step is putting these batteries into the role play. So as I mentioned before, 
In the original roll play, you'll see that this was coming right out of here. So this is what connects uh, your batteries to the motor. That's why it's so important to save this piece off that original battery, because when we have that, it just snaps right into this original one, makes life so much easier when doing this conversion. So uh, let's put these batteries into the bays. And what I got to do now is just connect this little clip here and we're ready to go. All right, so uh, you can see we connected our clip here. We've got our batteries um, all wired up, snaps right into the original um, adapter for the motor. Really, this only took about 15 minutes just having the right parts. Uh, what you'll need to do is buy the parts that I mentioned or something similar. And then you also just need some of this um, wire, maybe it's 16, 14 gauge, I'm not exactly sure. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, other than that, we'll uh, walk you through how to get the Quick Connect charger set up now too. If you remember on these roll plays, they have a little slot here on the side, right? This little slot is how you charge it. So with your original roll play, there came came with a charger that has a little quick connect charger clip. Well, we need to upgrade that to make sure we put it into a 24 volt charger. And I'm gonna walk you through uh, how I'm gonna do that as well. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about is uh, charging. So the old roll play came with this here, this little uh, wall charger. And it's got this adapter that I just showed you. It plugs into the side on the passenger side of the uh, truck. So this 12 volt charger is not going to cut it. Um, so what I did is I bought a 24 volt. Now these, you can find these all over the place. This is for 12 volt and 24 volt. Uh, 24 volt is going to charge at 3 amp. And 12 volt charges at 6 amp. This is perfect for what we're doing here. The problem is how do we get uh, the ability to use that quick connect clip? So... What we need to do is we need to cut this off and you can see that we have a positive side and a negative side. And this charger that I have, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one it came with, I'm going to cut this off. So essentially what we're trying to do is just replace this adapter with this adapter on my 24 volt charger. So uh, I'll walk you through uh, how to do that with some inline connectors and we should be ready to charge this thing up. Okay, so um, what we needed to do was just connect um, the original roll play 12 volt charger connector to our new 24 volt charger. So uh, all I did was I, uh, I cut the roll play, I cut that adapter right off of the original charging cord and it's here. And then what I did is I just put some of these inline connectors um, in this package that I bought. They're just these little red connectors here that allow you to connect two different wires. So I put one on each side and I connected the red from the charger, which is the positive side, into the positive side of the roll play and then the same for the negative. So really, now I have a 24 volt charger for my converted 12 volt to 24 volt roll play. All right, we got our uh, charger plugged in. You can see it's right there. And where we uh, spliced uh, the charger to that original roll play piece is right here. And you can see it just plugs right into the side of the roll play and it's currently charging. Simple as that. Okay, so we're back. I have a test driver here. We have got the batteries installed. We're ready to see how fast this thing is. So uh, let's give it a go. Yeah, it's, it's fast. 